Hello everyone, surely many people have never enjoyed king crab, because it's not cheap, right? Today I will take you to learn about how to catch this precious king crab. Okay, let's go. Alaskan king crab fishing is conducted in the fall in the waters off Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. Commercial catches are shipped worldwide. Large quantities of king crab are also caught in Russian and international waters. In 1980, at the peak of the king crab industry, Alaska fisheries produced up to 200 million pounds, 91 million kilograms, of crab. However, by 1983, total catches had decreased by as much as 90% in some places. Several theories for the rapid decline of crab populations have been proposed, including overfishing, warmer and increased fish predation. As a result, the current season is very short and in the 2010 season, only 24 million pounds, 11 million kilograms, of red king crab were caught. Alaska crab fishing is very dangerous and the fatality rate for fishermen is high. About 80 times the death rate of normal workers. It has been suggested that an average of one crabber dies per week during the seasons. In Alaska, three species of king crab are fished commercially. The red king crab, Paralithodes kamchatakis, found in Bristol Bay, Norton Sound and Kodiak Islands, blue king crab, Paralithodes platypus, St. Matthew Island and Pribilof Islands, and yellow king crab, Lithodes equispinus, Aleutian Islands. Red king crab is the most prized of the three for its meat. The fourth type, the scarlet king crab, Lithodes kuesi, is too small and rare to be commercialized, although its meat is considered sweet and delicious. Five, must meet specific size requirements, only certain types of king crab are legal at different times of the year, and only males are kept. The most popular crab fishing is from October to January, a season that continues to shrink, at one point a red crab season lasted just four days. After 2005, each boat was given a quota based on its catch from previous years and the number of crabs available to catch. The fleet was reduced from 251 boats to 89, and that number has decreased since then, as many boat owners found it more profitable to lease their quota than to spend money preparing a boat for fishing. Fish. Currently, final seasons last two to four weeks.
After the 2005 season, the Alaska crab industry switched from a Derby-style season to a quota system. This transition is called rationalization. In old Derby style, a large number of teams compete against each other to catch crabs within a limited time period. Under the new individual fishing quota IFQ, system, established owners have been granted quotas which they can carry at a more relaxed pace. In theory, it is intended to be safer, which is the main reason for the change in fishing rules. The transition to a quota system is also expected to increase the value of crab, by limiting the available crab market. The influx of foreigners erased some of these benefits during the 2006 crab season. The rationalization process caused many seafarers to lose their jobs because the owners of many small boats found the assigned quotas too small to cover expenses. Operating fees, during the first season operating under the IFQ system, the fleet was reduced from more than 250 boats to about 89, most of them larger with high quotas. Commercial fishing vessels range in length from 12 to 75 meters, 39 and 246 feet, are equipped with hydraulics to lift the catch and can withstand the icy weather of the Bering Sea. 2. Each fishing boat sets its own sailing schedule during the crab fishing season, often staying offshore for days or weeks at a time. Fishermen use box-shaped traps called pots, consisting of a steel frame covered with nylon mesh. Each pot weighed 600 to 800 pounds, 270 to 360 kilograms, and a ship could carry between 150 and 300 pots. Six fish, usually herring or cod, are placed inside as bait, then the pot is sunk to the seabed where king crabs reside. The pots are released in a straight line, called a chain, to make them easier to retrieve. Red and blue king crabs can be found between the tidal zone and depths of 100 fathoms, 600 feet, 180 meters. Yellow king crabs live at depths of 100 to 400 fathoms, 180 to 720 meters, 600 to 2,400 feet. The location of the pot is marked on the surface with a buoy, which is later used for retrieval. After leaving the barrels on the seabed, usually one to two days for red and blue king crabs, longer for yellow king crabs, the barrels are pulled back to the surface using a hydraulic winch with pulleys.
At the top is called a block. The pot is then brought onto the boat and the crew sorts the catch. Any crabs that do not meet the specified size and gender requirements will be thrown back. The crabs are kept alive in tanks until the boat arrives ashore for sale. If the weather gets too cold, live crabs can freeze and burst. If they are left in they can harm and can kill each other because they can be cannibalistic. Even the swaying of the boat can cause damage to the crab, so thin panels are inserted into the hold to prevent side-to-side -side movement. If a crab dies for any reason, it secretes a poison that can kill other crabs. If the crew does not remove the dead crabs, they can independently complete the tank and make the catch. Deck players are paid a percentage of the profits after calculating the owner's share. This amount can range from nothing to war dollars, depending on the size of the goal. The so-called greenhorns, fishers in the first fishing season, were paid a fixed sum. More information, occupational safety and health by industry. Statistically, fishing in Alaska remains the most dangerous job in the United States. In 2006, the Laos Statistics Department ranked commercial fishing as having the highest death rate, with 141.7 per 100,000 people per year, nearly 75% higher than the rate of pilots and computer engineers. Flying and woodworking, the next dangerous occupations. 9. However, Alaskan fishing is even more dangerous, with more than 300 deaths per 100,000 people per year. 10. More than 80% of these deaths are due to water dragon or hypothermia. 11. Fishermen are also easily injured working with heavy machinery and equipment. In 1980, at the peak of the kingpin industry, Alaska's crab fishery produced 200 million pounds of crab. But by 1983, the total catch had dropped to less than 10% of its size. This, 13, several theories for the rapid spread of colonization have been proposed, including overfishing, warmer waters, and increased hunting by fish. 
The slowdown forced many fishermen to diversify and fish for cod, such as opalio and tana crabs, or cod. Since then, strict regulations have been enforced so that pant management can be responsible and allowed to recover. Red and blue king crab populations are at reasonable levels in most areas except southeast Alaska since 1983, forcing many fishermen to focus on yellow king crab. King crab is caught outside the United States is now on the list of marine products that sustainability conscious consumers should avoid. The Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch program lists king king caught in the United States as a good alternative. The influx of crabs from Russia also causes many economic problems for crab farmers in the United States. Imports from Russia increased from about 21 million pounds, 9.5 million kilogram, in 2004 to 37.5 million pounds, 17 million kilogram, in 2005, an increase of more than 56 million pounds, 25.45 million kilogram, in 2005. Two thousand and seven. Seven. The majority of this foreign reported crab was caught and imported illegally and resulted in prices steadily falling from three dollars point five five per pound in two thousand and three to three dollars point two one per pound last year. Two thousand and four. Two United States dollars and seventy four cents in two thousand and five and two United States dollars and thirty cents in two thousand and seven for Aleutian Golden Emperor and five United States dollars and fifteen cents. Head. British pound in 2003 to 4 United States dollars and 70 cents in 2004 to 4 United States dollars and 52 cents in 2005 and 4 United States dollars and 24 cents in 2007 for Bristol Bay Red King Crab. Deadliest Catch is a reality series broadcast by Discovery the channel began in 2005.
the show highlights interpersonal relationships and the dangers of emperor fishing, including freezing temperatures, rough seas, and the brunt of things that can weigh more than a year. Ton. Because the season is so short, due to regulations and weather, fishermen often have to spend days at a time on the ocean, working long hours and sleeping very little.